There are eight drugs that scientific research has linked to a higher risk of dementia, and memory loss is not a natural part of aging. If we take adequate care of our brains, we can keep them healthy for far longer than we previously believed. So why may seemingly harmless pharmaceuticals cause such serious damage to our brains, and how can we preserve our brains while treating other health conditions? These are important questions that we will address throughout the video. It's important to stress that we are not here to criticize modern medicine. In fact, many of these drugs are necessary for treating serious illnesses and enhancing millions of people's quality of life. That being said, it is crucial that we understand the risks associated with these drugs and know how to reduce them. First on our list are two seemingly innocuous medications, omeprazole and anticholinergic medicines, which can have disastrous long-term effects. First, let's discuss omeprazole. This drug, which is among the most widely used to treat gastric ulcers and reflux, is a member of the proton pump inhibitor class. At first glance, it seems harmless, but recent research has shown a worrying link between omeprazole use over an extended period of time and an increased risk of dementia. 10% of individuals in a research including over 6,000 people reported experiencing memory loss after taking omeprazole for more than three years. How does omeprazole affect the brain? Another study revealed that 33% of individuals who used the drug for more than four and a half years reported cognitive problems. It is thought that omeprazole can change gut flora, which may have a detrimental effect on brain function, and that it may also interfere with the absorption of vitamin B12, which is essential for neurological health. It is crucial to remember that if you take omeprazole frequently, we do not advise stopping use of the medication right away. Instead, we advise discussing your options with your doctor and in many situations, lowering the dosage. Without the need for constant medication, stomach issues can be controlled with dietary and lifestyle modifications. Let's now discuss anticholinergics. These medications, which are used to treat a wide range of conditions from allergies to depression and incontinence, have the drawback of blocking the action of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter that is essential for memory and learning. Research indicates that long-term use of anticholinergics is linked to a markedly increased risk of dementia. According to a University of Washington research that tracked over 3,500 senior citizens for 10 years, those who routinely took anticholinergics were 54% more likely to get dementia. First-generation antihistamines like diphenhydramine, some antidepressants like amitriptyline, and treatments for urinary incontinence like oxybutynin are typical examples of anticholinergic pharmaceuticals. It is important that patients and doctors carefully consider the risks and benefits of anticholinergics, seeking alternatives when possible and limiting use to the minimum necessary. If you are taking any anticholinergic medication, do not stop abruptly. Instead, talk to your doctor about safer alternatives or the possibility of reducing the dose. The indiscriminate use of these drugs, especially among the elderly, is concerning because they may contribute to cognitive decline. Keep in mind that extended usage is crucial in this case. While using an antihistamine infrequently to treat allergy symptoms is unlikely to result in long-term issues, persistent use, particularly at high doses, is what worries researchers the most about potential hidden risks. Before we continue, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel Health Nation. Thank you. Keeping with our list, let's now discuss two drug classes that, despite being useful in treating a variety of ailments, may have detrimental consequences on the brain. First, let's talk about corticosteroids. These medications are frequently used to treat a wide range of illnesses, including autoimmune diseases, allergies, asthma, and inflammatory diseases, where they are very effective at lowering inflammation and stifling heightened immune responses. However, long-term use of corticosteroids, particularly when taken orally, is linked to a number of serious side effects such as the decline of mental and cognitive abilities. Research has demonstrated that corticosteroids can alter the structure of the brain, resulting in issues including disorientation and confusion, anxiety, and depression. An epidemiological study conducted in the United Kingdom using data from over 500,000 individuals showed that long-term users of corticosteroids for asthma had a markedly increased risk of dementia and other mental health issues. When taken over an extended period of time, Glucocorticoids like prednisone and dexamethasone are especially dangerous because they may alter cortisol levels, a stress hormone that when too much of it, damages neurons in the hippocampus, the portion of the brain responsible for memory. When using corticosteroids, 
especially over extended periods of time, it is imperative that healthcare professionals closely monitor your use. Never stop taking corticosteroids suddenly, as this can be harmful. Instead, discuss with your doctor the idea of lowering the dosage gradually or looking into other options. Now let's talk about benzodiazepines. These drugs are widely prescribed to treat anxiety and insomnia. Alprazolam, diazepam and lorazepam are effective in rapidly relieving anxiety symptoms. However, prolonged use of benzodiazepines can have serious consequences for brain health. Studies have shown a clear correlation between the prolonged use of benzodiazepines and memory loss. Research suggests that these medications can double the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease, possibly due to permanent brain damage. According to a study, in addition to memory loss, over 40% of benzodiazepine users also reported experiencing a range of neurological symptoms, such as trouble focusing, lack of energy, nervousness, and heightened sensitivity to sensory stimuli. Long-term benzodiazepine use is linked to a number of additional negative effects, such as sleep issues, unease, weakness in muscles, and myalgia. A major concern of these drugs is physical and emotional reliance, which makes it difficult for many patients to stop using them. Although the precise mechanism underlying the link between benzodiazepines and Alzheimer's is unclear, it is thought that these medications may interfere with neurotransmitter function, resulting in structural and functional changes in the brain. Prolonged use of these medications may also adversely affect the sleep cycle, which is essential for memory consolidation. When prescribing benzodiazepines, patients should have their use closely monitored and kept to a minimum. Physicians should also think about non-pharmacological treatments for anxiety and insomnia, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, relaxation techniques, and lifestyle modifications. Never stop using benzodiazepines suddenly, as this might result in severe withdrawal symptoms. Instead, use them sparingly and at the lowest effective doses as necessary. Before making any modifications to your prescription regimen, always get your doctor's approval. As we continue our list of drugs that may have an impact on brain health, let's now discuss two varieties that might surprise a lot of people. First-generation antihistamines and amphetamines such as the well-known drug Adol, are commonly used to treat attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD. These drugs are well known for their ability to reduce hyperactivity and improve concentration in the short term, but long-term use of amphetamines can have serious side effects, such as memory loss. Amphetamine acts by raising the concentrations of neurotransmitters such as dopamine and norepinephrine in the brain, which momentarily enhance focus and concentration, but prolonged use can result in a number of issues, including emotional and physical dependence and trouble sleeping. One of the most worrying adverse effects of using these medications for an extended period of time is memory loss. Studies reveal that in addition to memory issues, high and persistent amphetamine dosages might result in irreversible brain damage. Long-term users may have diminished motivation and general cognitive function, these side effects may remain even after stopping the drug, suggesting long-term harm. Because of their stimulating effects, amphetamines also carry a considerable danger of abuse and addiction. When these medications are abused, major side effects like heart arrhythmias, intestinal issues, and even unexpected death can result. When using amphetamines for ADHD, it might be difficult to discontinue using the drug due to psychological reliance. Therefore, it is important that healthcare professionals closely monitor the use of amphetamines by you or someone you know. Therapeutic alternatives and non-pharmacological methods like behavioral therapy and stress reduction techniques should be taken into account for the treatment of ADHD. Now let's discuss first-generation antihistamines like dianhydramine and chlorphenamine, which are commonly used to treat allergy and cold symptoms. These drugs are useful in relieving symptoms like congestion and itching right away. However, there is a negative aspect to these drugs. They have long-term negative effects on memory and cognitive function. First-generation antihistamines function by preventing the body's natural production of histamine, which is responsible for allergic symptoms. However, they also have an anticholinergic effect, which prevents the release of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter that is essential for memory and learning. Prolonged use of these drugs can consequently cause serious cognitive issues. Research indicates that first-generation antihistamines are linked to a higher risk of dementia. A recent analysis of 138 research on the side effects of these drugs discovered a significant correlation between long-term use and cognitive impairments. Fortunately, there are safer alternatives available. 
Patients who routinely took these drugs reported memory issues and difficulties concentrating even after quitting treatment. Substitutes like cinema and second-generation antihistamines like loratadine do not cause cognitive issues and have fewer side effects. They are recommended for long-term allergy treatment because they provide efficient symptom relief without the same hazards to cognitive function or the health of the brain. Other side effects of first-generation antihistamines include dry mouth, impaired vision, and sleepiness. Severe side effects can have a major negative influence on quality of life, particularly in older persons who are more vulnerable to the negative effects of these drugs. Patients should speak with their physicians before taking first-generation antihistamines for extended periods of time. The need for these medications can be decreased, and cognitive health can be preserved by taking into account safer alternatives and implementing other allergy management strategies such as dietary and environmental adjustments. If you take any of these medications on a regular basis, do not stop taking them suddenly. Instead, speak with a healthcare provider before making any changes to your medication schedule. The last item on our list is here, and now we'll talk about two kinds of drugs that might surprise a lot of people, statins and tricyclic antidepressants. First, let's talk about tricyclic antidepressants. These drugs, which include amitriptyline and nortriptyline, were among the first to be developed to treat depression. Although they are successful in reducing depressed symptoms, they have a side effect profile that includes cognitive problems, including memory loss. Tricyclic antidepressants function by preventing the brain from reabsorbing neurotransmitters like norepinephrine and serotonin, which increases their availability. However, they also possess potent anticholinergic qualities, which prevent the brain from absorbing acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter that is essential for memory and learning. Tricyclic antidepressant use for an extended period of time has been linked to an increased risk of dementia and other cognitive problems. Research indicates that those who take tricyclic antidepressants on a daily basis see a quicker loss in their cognitive performance than those who do not. These pharmaceuticals have the potential to produce short and long-term memory loss, attention problems, and disorientation. Older persons are especially vulnerable to these side effects due to their increased sensitivity to the anticholinergic effects of these medications. Thankfully, there are safer options like selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, which don't cause memory issues and have fewer negative effects. Examples of medications with improved safety profiles that are frequently used to treat depression and anxiety are sertraline and fluoxetine. Talk to your doctor about the potential of switching to a more modern and safer medication if you are currently taking tricyclic antidepressants. Now let's discuss an issue that has caused a great deal of controversy in the medical community statins. Statins, including atorvastatin and simvastatin, are frequently administered to reduce cholesterol and prevent cardiovascular disorders. They are also useful in preventing heart attacks and strokes. An increasing amount of research indicates that long-term statin use may negatively impact cognitive function. It is thought that statins may interfere with cholesterol production in the brain, which is necessary for synapse formation and cognitive function. Studies show that some statin users experience memory issues and mental confusion. Although these side effects are uncommon, they can be significant for those who do. The association between statins and cognitive performance has been the subject of conflicting findings in a review of observational studies and clinical trials. According to certain research, statins may guard against dementia, while some point to a higher chance of memory issues. This disparity can result from variations in the population under study for statin dosages and length of treatment. While it is true that statins have well-established cardiovascular benefits and that for many people they outweigh any potential cognitive risks, it is still important for patients and physicians to talk about the possible side effects of statins and to closely monitor any cognitive symptoms that may occasionally arise. Reducing dosage or transferring to an alternative statin may help minimize adverse effects. Additionally, in order to lower their reliance on medicine and assist control their cholesterol levels, patients should be urged to adopt a healthy lifestyle that includes diet and exercise. Keep in mind that your brain is your most valuable possession. Take good care of it by being knowledgeable, consulting your doctor when necessary, and making thoughtful decisions regarding your health. I appreciate you staying until the very end. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and enable notifications if you like this video so you don't miss our next health and wellness material. Till then, bye.